I'm gonna give you three reasons not to use this roof ventilation real quick. One of the best reasons is, is this is what happens all the time with this, but I wanna also show you how it works. This is how the hot air actually exit the attic. This is an opening you can see directly inside. It actually comes through here, through these perforations underneath the metal and comes out. You've got a joint. Every 10 feet, you're gonna have a joint and sometimes we can get that wind blowing rain that runs up underneath here. There's systems out there that don't have exposed joints. It's gonna be a lot better than this. We can actually get some ponding water around the fasteners too, which helps them deteriorate quicker. So that's another reason. All right, the last reason here is actually the end caps. You can see that you can see directly inside the home or the attic. These are the perforations that the hot air comes out again. But what happens is there's an end plug here and a lot of times rodents, squirrels, they'll actually pull that plug out to try to gain access to your house. So it's just a flaw where they can get in. Uh, it just doesn't have to be that way. There's systems that are actually closed off and systems that will stay on the roof. So then you ask, why do roofers use this? I'm gonna tell you a couple reasons why. It's easy, it's cheap, and it's just quick. And you can tell the homeowner this, it's aluminum, it's metal, it's going to be better because we all think metal is great, but in, in this case, it's actually just a tin can. It's cheap, thin metal that's protecting your investment. It's not a good idea. There's a whole lot better systems out there. But remember, in the end, the roofer's gonna tell you that because it's cheaper for him to install and faster. So we're gonna show you a roof ventilation system. It actually takes the hot air out of the attic. It creates a suction. This system here doesn't create a suction. It's static heat rises and comes out so there's no suction there's no draft pulling it out all right guys i'm on a roof now we're going to put the ridge vent in i want to show you a superior ridge vent that works really well it's actually going to suck more heat out of the attic and i kind of want to show you the basics of it while it's being installed here's what this ventilation system looks like as it's getting installed so we're going to use these ring shank nails they've got a really nice flat head on it so it actually doesn't cut through the shingle over time you're going to stick those in and then you're going to nail them on the cap shingle which is right here and this is a great product that's made by Certain Teed. One of my favorite products. Certain Teed has been in the business for a long time. They cover their products. They come out. They take care of any issues that they have. They are a great partner to have. He's going to go ahead and seal all the joints up. This is just an extra protection. We're going to add some nails in these areas. So it has places where it shows you where the nailing's at. And then this is the nail line for the shingle. So it gives you an idea where to put the nail. We always put a shingle down underneath. And this is kind of what the end looks like. And then we add some roof cement on the end to make it extra support for if you have a lot of wind so you don't lose any shingles. We're going to put a starter shingle there also. So in Florida, with all these hurricanes, you want to have as much protection as you can from the wind. So right here is where the ridge vent goes on the house. So there's a cutout in the top. You can feel the heat coming out of there. We're going to set our ridge vent on there, and it's actually going to suck the heat out the sides. Another detail about this ridge vent is we don't see rodents breaking in this ridge vent like we do the other types of ridge vents. They get in the bottoms, they pull out the plugs. This one, it's not going to happen. They can't get in this area. There's nowhere for them to get in also. It's got a, it's closed off inside these baffles too. And one of the key benefits here is there's a starter shingle here at the edge. And then underneath, you have a roof cement. Makes for a solid system. The most vulnerable part is the end. So if you add all those steps to it, it makes it really hard for it to have any effects from a hurricane. And that's our key here in Florida is to make it as strong as possible. But you can see how clean this looks. Much different than the other ridge vent, which is a cheaper option.